Well, hello, YouTube. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm always doing that, it's a thing. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Ray, I love mess. I hate the name I love mess, but, you know, it was, it was a mistake because I forgot how to log in as the life of mess. Anyway, sorry, what I mean, I, I'm back. Yeah, I'll do that in a minute. Just the cat just asking for a biscuit. Um, <clears throat> so, back, as in, you know, we're talking Gary Barlow back here. This is a proper back for good thing. If you'll have me, please. I've been away too long. Uh, hair's gone. Everything is well. Everything has changed. Lots, lots of things have changed since I've seen you last. Um, the reason I'm back is because the Maximals and I have left. We've we've gone our separate ways, and it's uh, it was it was much soul searching and stuff and stuff. But I'll tell you why. This is briefly why why I'm doing this video and why I'm back. Um, look at little robo machine, not a gobot, but a robo machine, isn't he nice? I think his name's Stax. Yes, it is Stax. I have two of these, and they're both broken in exactly the same place. One was given to me by the other half, and it, it, oh no, see, it hasn't got a wheel here. Anyway, I'll get bound to that later. That's uh, another review. <clears throat> I, you know, after much soul searching, I was I was kind of denying the fact for a really long time, but I didn't actually want to be involved in the pop music industry. We're calling it that, ladies and gentlemen, the business. Um, for lots of reasons. Let's just tackle the very first one. I don't listen to pop. So, you know, I mean, that's that's the only reason you need. I, I don't listen to pop music's fine, but I don't listen to it. Um, there, there, there's, there's the the main thing. The those songs, the the maximal songs that you heard were primarily written by one other member of the band, and um. You know, the other thing was, oh God, there's so many things. Um, the the Maximals are going to kind of change their name and come back and do uh, as something else, but I'm sure they're going to be successful. I'm just, I'm, I'm pleased that I'm not part of it because we just weren't. I, I wasn't made for the pop music industry. Uh, Jer, you know what I'm talking about here. Uh, you don't listen to pop either, do you? I don't think so. So um, the other thing was. Uh, so much, so many things. I had to lie about my age all the time. All the time I had to lie about my age. Um, <clears throat> oh God, the industry is so fickle. Um, so I had to say that I was 10 years younger than I actually am. I'm, I'm 37. And I know you, I mean, I can get away with it. And, and I'm not complimenting myself here. It's just fact I have one of those faces, right? I know. Right? Um, <clears throat> And I had to pretend I was like 10 years old. Do I have to do that? Yeah, you got to do that, otherwise you won't get a contact. Wouldn't get a contact, wouldn't get signed. Which is fair enough. Little secret. Everybody does it. Everybody in the industry does it. So I never liked that. I, that never, never sat well with me. This is Ray the Transformers fan. Coming back and being a Transformers fan. Praise the flying spaghetti monster is all I can say. I took, you know, for years. Uh, uh, the other thing, this is the there's, the there's there's so many main things. Forgive all the main things. Happy birthday, George. I felt bad because I only found out properly that it was George's birthday properly today when I rang him and spoke to him. I speak to George every day, and he didn't even fucking tell me his birthday was coming. I don't remember my own birthday. Um, and the really crappy thing is he got me awesome presents on my birthday, which was like just just two weeks ago. And awesome fucking presents. And I'm oh, not going to send them. I feel like a fucking jackass. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's good though, isn't it? Um, I'm shaking. I stopped that. <clears throat> Where was I? Uh, oh, yes. Um, the other thing. Another main thing. So many main things. I wouldn't have enjoyed being on the road. I've been on the road before with bands. And... Do you know, the thing is, it's not glamorous. It really isn't glamorous. It's because you get on a bus or you get on a plane. And this plane, you know, it's like, yeah, I've, I've traveled so many times on a plane now that it stops becoming sexy to fly. You know, it's like, oh, the fucking fly. You know, it's it's a bit of a chore getting up at four to go and fly. Um, 
you know, getting a plane, then uh, getting either on a tour bus or whatever, and going to a place and going to a venue, and you arrive, let's say, at one o'clock, and the gig isn't until nine, and what do you do? Oh, you go and you go and walk about this new town, city, or whatever. Oh, it's raining. What are my options? I'm going to sit here and now scratch my arse for seven hours. That kind of thing. I've done that. And it really does suit some people. And maybe they can find a bit more <clears throat> interest and intrigue and stuff. You know what a lot of people do? They go to the bar and they get pissed and stuff like that. But um, I didn't want to do that. I knew I didn't want to do that. Um, just all kinds of other things, you know. So, I mean... It, it it took me longer. And the other thing was, I wasn't allowed to go on YouTube. Now, it's a, it's complicated. It's complicated. But I've seen my ex-managers. Oh, first time I've said that. Uh, rationale. Um, because they, they wanted a, a measured um, exposure. And they wanted to orchestrate all oh, everything. So, I mean, me doing my YouTube reviews... They all, that's where they all came off. They wanted to be in charge of our presence on the internet and stuff like that, which was fine. I never, ever liked that. Not once did I like it, but I had to do it. So, when I was backish for a while, they were wee sneaky vids, but I was rumbled, ladies and gentlemen, so that's why they all came off. But now I'm back. I'm not going anywhere where I I don't want this to be too long, really, because this is just kind of, I did prologue, as um, Frankie Howard would say. I'm working on a Severus Snape impression. It's pretty good. It's going to get better. And a Jean-Luc Picard as well. But you're really, you really, you, you got to beg. So, I mean, what's, what I want to do now is try and hopefully reintegrate myself. I'm holding this thing in my hand. It's an all little thing, a bit of Lego wrapped around a twisty type from a transformer. I want to try and reintegrate myself into the community because I want to be properly, fully involved. So I'm back on YouTube as in I'm watching your reviews from as of today properly and I'm going to be posting videos properly as of today. And you know, I'm I'm just you know, just forget that no, don't don't forget that there was a maximum period. The maximums are going to be well, they're going to change, and they are going to be big. They are going to be big, but <clears throat> a very nice person, Deborah High, Debbie Blondie, anybody under twenty-five has no idea who I'm talking about. Once said that, um, in order to be a successful artist, you just need to create art successfully. Wow. That was a bit of a revelation to me. Don't need to be famous, don't need to be rich. You just need to create art, create art successfully. In the Maximals, um, there was a lot of really fantastic creative stuff happening, which I couldn't really engage with. They know that, and they knew that for a while, and I knew it. Um, so, to, to that end, I'm doing what I always done. I'm still, I mean, I'm a full time musician, that's, that's what I do. Um, I'm going to concentrate on the theatre work, theatre work coming up. You can ask me more questions about that. There are other stuff. I was talking about YouTube. I'm back. I want to stay here with you for the rest of my life. Shall we get married? Yes, please, John. And um, so I'm going to the Auto Assembly 2011. And, oh, God, I'm going to be there. And I'm staying this time. And I'm staying in the fucking hotel. And we're having a bloody knees up and karaoke. And all the rest of it, sushi at three o'clock in the morning. I'm there, ladies and gentlemen. Um, uh, so I'm going to be talking about the bots that I've got recently, the bots that I like, the ones that are really shit. Um, anything else? Edgar still here. Ed, Edgar, Edgar, Ed, Edgar still here. Um, <clears throat> so yeah. Everything is good. It's actually really good. It was a positive move. It was a difficult transition to make because I invested so much financially, mentally, and emotionally in it. But it just wouldn't have worked with me in the long run at all. Not even nearly. Oh, the other thing is, I think I'm going to be moving to Kingland sometime in the middle uh, summer. There he is. He's coming. Hey, do you want to say hello to the nice people? 
you know what I mean? So that, that's a big thing. I'm going to go and live with my other half. Uh, you go on Facebook and you find out all about him. He's um, rather magnificent. Um, what else? So yeah, you see all those changes, and I just, you know, I'm I'm quite conservative in my, not in conservative in my tastes, no, no, not necessarily, but I don't want bells and whistles. No, Christ, no, oh God, I tell you what, I had little, um, I'll be with you in a minute. Um, I had uh, an an inkling, or I had a I had a a, a, a taster of that lifestyle of what it might be like and it was not very nice. It was too hectic and too busy and I wouldn't have been I'm fucking rambling on. I'm gonna end this right now. So I'm gonna get back to bot. So I'll let you all have a little look at this and hopefully it'll answer a lot of questions. There are probably others. Here are some bots behind me here. This one will be there. There's a big hole inside him. What what's the deal with him? Although I I like it. The sound wave. See George got me that too you can't see it. It's over there. This Cybertron sound wave what Cybertron sign for this. You know? George, you should have told me it was your birthday, you bad bitch. But, um, yeah, I'm going to go and upload this onto the tube now, and um, hopefully it answers a lot of questions. I'm still holding this thing. I, it's, I don't know. I, I like to unravel paper clips and keep them in my pocket, too. Does anybody else do that? I, I'm sure some of you do. Yeah, Transformers fans probably do that. I, I'm drawn to paper clips. If I'm in an office, I'll go, paper clip, yeah, let's put that in my pocket. So, um... Right, that's it. I think you know there may be more, but you know I'll get back to you. And you can ask me questions. I'm looking for my new thing. Uh, you can ask questions and I'll answer them. And I may be back a little later on talking about bots. Hopefully, love bots. That's why I'm back. Ladies and gentlemen, Ray. I love mess. Whatever. Fuck that. Ray. Good to see you again. Bye, my buddy.